Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Spooky season is in full effect which means that everybody's coming out with their own variations on Halloween looks, easy makeup ideas, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So I got to thinking what's super unique to Halloween, still fun, but can still make it glam. So I think we're going to do today a fun pumpkin glam where I do a really, really fun glam orange-ish eye on the top and then we do a super creepy jack-o-lantern smile all blacked out so we get a little bit of the glam a little bit of the creepy we meet right in the middle this is going to be super easy i think we're just going to go ahead and get started today i'm going to start by doing my eyebrows which is a little unusual for me so i'm going to start today with the anastasia beverly hills dip brow in the shade soft brown i'm going to use an eyeliner brush from morphe and then just kind of get a little bit of product on each side Side. and I'm just gonna draw first I'm gonna underline my eyebrow and then I'm just gonna draw hair like strokes up and out again I'm going to draw one continuous line and bring it down to reach the point and then I like to start about in the middle of the brow right here and do the same thing up and over you can bring it down in the same way and then from here, I just like to draw hair like strokes just straight up, just kind of to fill it in. Okay, and then I'm going to pop the other one on super quick. Okay, and now that I popped on both of my eyebrows, I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyes. So today I'm going to start by priming them using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I've never tried a proper primer before, so I'm really excited to test it out. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit onto the back of my hand. I'm just going to use a flat eyeshadow brush from Morphe, dab right into the eye primer, and then just kind of create thick white base. I'm just going to pat this in. Okay, and now that we've got our base, I think I'm going to start by going into my eyeshadows. So today I'm going to be using the Revolution London Makeup Revolution Creative Volume 1 palette. As we can see, there's a lot of fun oranges that we can play with. Um, this is very high pigment, so it'll be a good payoff. I'm going to use a tapered fluffy brush to start, and I'm going to head into this first color up here, Abstract. It's like a light orangey peach. And I'm just going to put it right in the crease. Okay, and now that we've got our nice peachy transition color, I'm going to start heading into a little more pigment. So next I'm going to head into this slightly more orange color called Dextrous, and I'm going to put it just a little bit more into this corner and bring it up into the crease as well. And then I'm going to use a Morphe brush with a more pointed bullet tip and I'm going to head into this super orange color down here called Territory. And again, do the same thing, pack it into this outer corner. This we're going to pack a little bit more firmly because this is going to be our main orange color. Then I'm going to take that same larger fluffy brush I was working with just a second ago and then just blend this out a little bit. And in order to build up this orange color that we want, we're going to need to head into the palette just a couple of times and keep adding this orange back in and then blending, blending, blending. But that's exactly what's going to create the pigmentation that we want. Okay, and then I'm going to take a slightly more tapered fluffy brush from Morphe and I'm going to head into this yellow called Trendsetter. I'm just going to use this at the corner of the orange just kind of to blend out the color tab. And then I'm going to go back in with that bullet brush that we were working with earlier and I'm going to go into this black called Black Heart and then just pat it into this corner. And then I'm going to go in with that more tapered brush that we were working with earlier and then just blend this out ever so slightly. And then I'm going to take that larger fluffy brush that we were working with and just kind of blend all of the colors, colors together very lightly. And now we're going to move on to the half cut crease part, so I'm going to go ahead and use a little more of the Anastasia primer. And then using the same eyeshadow brush that we were using earlier, the flat one, I'm going to go ahead and create my cut crease. So I'm just going to slowly pat an even half moon onto my lid. 
okay? And if you don't have an eye primer like this, it's totally fine. Just use a concealer or whatever else you have. Like this eye primer is not a make or break for this look. I am going to move forward with a ColourPop Super Shop shadow. It's super cute in the shade Let Me Pass. I'm going to go right in with my finger and look at that pigmentation. I'm just going to put it kind of on the center where the cup crease meets the blended color. Alright, and then next I'm going to head into my BH Cosmetics Solar Flare Palette. I'm going to go in with the same brush that we used on the yellow, the more tapered, more pointed, fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into this shade called Fireball and put her right next to the Super Shock Shadow. I'm kind of into the idea of leaving the inner corner kind of light. So I'm going to use my Morphe Artistry Palette in Proper Spice 25A. And again, I'm going to go in with another flat brush. And I'm going to go into this very, very light peach shade right here. It's a matte shade. And then this is going to go right in this inner corner. Okay, and then to highlight, I'm going to go in to this um, lighter shade over here called Beam. And I'm just going to blend this on the upper brow bone as well as the inner corner. Put it all kind of styling. I'm just going to use a makeup wipe just to clean up all of the fallout. And now I'm going to move on to my face makeup. So I'm going to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Pour a little bit out onto the back of my hand. And then use my fingers. I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid in the shade Medium. And I'm going to use a damp sponge from Morphe and just slowly spread it out. And then I'm going to conceal today using a concealer from Julia's Place. I am using the shade Tea. And I'm going to apply this in strokes directly underneath my under eye. As well as of just like lining up the edges of what would be the smile with, with the corner of my eyebrow. And you can slowly start to bring it up top. It's going to cover over all of my lips, so go ahead and just draw a straight line for now and then we'll fill in all the little decorations later. And then I'm going to use a thicker flat eyeshadow brush and just kind of fill in all of this empty space. Okay, and then I'm just going to quickly set what we have with the same black eyeshadow that we were using in the Revolution palette. So just go ahead and slowly just tap over the black and it'll set the foundation into place. Okay, and now comes the fun part. We're going to go ahead and draw in our little teeth. I think we're a spooky pumpkin. So I'm going to draw us very spiky, rough little teeth. So again, we can just start either at the bottom of the top, however we're feeling. But then, we're just going to draw straight little, like, spikes, almost. Okay, now that I've drawn all my little teeth, I'm going to go ahead and actually shade them a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead back into this Revolution palette. I'm going to mix these two colors right here, Territory and Visionary, and I'm slowly going to just start to shade all the little teeth. 
okay and now we have shade baby face a little bit orange i'm actually gonna go ahead and use an urban decay optical blurring brush and i'm gonna head in the same color visionary and i'm just gonna slowly just tap it over this to create a little bit more of an extra orange flush after all we're a jack-o-lantern Now I'm going to move on to contouring the rest of my face, so I'm going to go ahead and use a Fenty Matchstick in the shade Mocha, and I'm going to contour just the sides of my hairline, my forehead, and just bring it down almost to meet this, but not quite. And then we can also contour our nose at the same time. And again, I can go in using the same Dip Beauty Blender, and I'm just going to beat this out. And I want this to be a little bit more warm, so I'm going to go ahead and use a Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer in the shade Island Tang. I'm using a Fenty Bronzer Brush in 190, and I'm just going to go ahead and just add a little bit of more heat to this look. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use that same Urban Decay optical blow brush. I'm going to go into this shade called Dextrous and I'm just going to apply it on my nose and then up towards my cheeks. Okay, and then next I'm going to use the Beauty Beauty Life Liner and I'm going to use it for several purposes. I'm going to start by using the pencil side and I'm just going to apply it to my lower lash line and smoke this baby out. Okay, and then I'm going to use a more tapered blue brush. I'm going to go back into this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow just directly with it. And I'm going to use it to help um, blend out this black. Okay, and then I'm going to use the liquid liner side of this to add on my wing to the top line. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to follow the line that we created on the under eye. Create the wing and then bring it back into the inner corner. Okay, and I'm going to use the same liquid liner end just to kind of line up and create harsher lines for these teeth. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and now we just got to add on the finishing touches, one of the main lashes. So today I'm using Vivi Lashes in Boston. So I'm going to toss these on real quick and we'll be right back for a little bit more. Into Okay, now that I'm back with lashes, I just want to add on one little final decoration, which will be little spiders, kind of like as freckles. So I'm really excited to do this one. I am going to go ahead and use the Huda Beauty Life Liner again for this. I'm going to start off with the pencil, and then I'm going to work my way up to the liner to draw on the little spider legs, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw little dots to start. friends I'm just gonna go ahead and add on a little bit of extra freckle just to kind of fill the empty space so again I'm going back in with the pencil and just creating little black dots now let's just set everything in place with Max Studio Fix Plus Okay guys, and this is our finished look, our jack-o'-lantern glam realness that's perfect for Halloween. Again, like I said, you can throw on an orange top or a full black outfit. This is your makeup, there's your Halloween costume, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this, I hope I made it easy for you. Please comment down below and tell me if you like it or if you didn't like it. Tell me what you want to see next time. Um, I'm so excited to have these Halloween looks going, so I can't wait for you to watch. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great week. Bye.